Next, we're going to ask Professor Sara Bakshi, who works in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Building on Purdue's engineering campus, to give a brief overview of IoT systems research activities at Purdue. Sara? Hello, good morning to all of you, the WIN annual meeting attendees. I'm Saurabh Bakhti. I'm a professor in the School of Electrical and Computer Engineering and Computer Science here at Purdue University. And I lead the IoT Systems Trust for the academic project here as part of WIN. And I'm coming to you from this lab in the School of Electrical and Computer Engineering at Purdue University, where a lot of the magic that I'm going to tell you about happens. And the work that I'm telling you about is really collaborative work with several of my faculty colleagues. We want to make reliable and secure Internet of Things real. What have we achieved in this work so far? We have created a long-running IoT network that has been deployed in several manufacturing facilities around town and in agricultural farms, both Purdue's experimental agricultural farms as well as some commercial farms here in Tippecanoe County as well as in surrounding counties. Our IoT networks have been collecting data over extended periods of time. They have been doing these analytics on the fly and they have been providing us with insights that we really can act upon. And in addition, this kind of a network is being built on top of very robust hardware and software stack. So on the hardware side, this is an example of a node that we have built and deployed. And within this node, there is packaging so that it is relatively immune to environmental effects. And right here in this board, we have the capability for long range wireless communication through a technology called LoRa. And within that, we have developed a unique software which allows you to do LoRa WAN as well as LoRa Mesh in a hybrid setting, plus short range Bluetooth based communication, which is much more energy efficient. And our wireless stack allows you to be able to reroute around failures when nodes are going to fail, when links are going to fail. And this software allows us to have highly energy efficient data gathering over large extended regions and allows us to have very fine grained, very lightweight analytics right there on the data as it is streaming through to us. So what does the future hold for us? What are the important challenges that we are working on and where we are very excited at the results that we are getting? So I think the biggest future challenge for us is to make this infrastructure truly scalable so that we can roll it out to a larger number of manufacturing facilities, to a larger number of uh, farms. And this involves creating an innovative piece of software that will really be scalable, where instead of talking about a few tens of devices, we're talking of hundreds of devices. So this means innovating in the way the software is built so that it really can be uh, built for these large numbers of these devices without really breaking the backs of our software development team. This also involves really pushing the envelope on the research front in being able to do remote diagnostics. So when a node is going to fail out there in the field, we don't want to have to keep running there to figure out what exactly has failed. So we want to be able to do remote diagnostics based on traces of data, traces of network uh, elements, network packets that we are collecting. So this kind of diagnostics, remote diagnostics, is something which the research community is trying to solve. We are trying to solve pushing the envelope in there, and that directly helps us in this deployment story. The second aspect of this we are doing is what kind of a software tool chain will allow us to automatically create these software patches and then push them out to the wireless network. So here, there is a high bar for the reliability because absolutely every single node in your network needs to get the software and needs to get every single byte of the software for it to be operational. So we have, we have developed protocols, we have developed uh, software, now we are making this really bulletproof. And all of this has to be done in the context of security. 
because these networks are deployed in open environments oftentimes, and therefore we have to be cognizant that security attacks can happen, and therefore the software has to be made secure to denial of service attacks, to confidentiality attacks, to integrity attacks from the ground up, and that's the big challenge that we are solving. This is an exciting journey for us, and I look forward to sharing with you many of the exciting results that we are going to get in the months and in the years to come. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Sora. So if you'd like to take a really deep dive into IoT, uh, then this is the person you should contact. His information's on the slide, and I know that he'd love to hear from you.